Greetings and salutations, pen testers and hackers. Um, I received a request to do an installation of the Kali Linux NetHunter. So, uh, without further ado, let me get to that. Um, first step is to uh, navigate to um, nethunter.com. <clears throat> And then when you get there, click on download and then um, download the, uh, the NetHunter installer for the Windows machine and um, go through that process. And uh, as soon as you've done that, um, go ahead and launch the program. And then uh, just um, follow the uh, instructions on in the boxes, all right? So check. I mean, check for updates, and then um, do the driver installation. You don't really have to do the driver installation, but I would. Uh, select your device. I have a 2012 Wi-Fi edition Nexus 7. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, looks like I'm green across the board. You're not going to be, obviously. So you click this little box here and then let all those download. And as soon as they are green, you hit next. <clears throat> um, hit the unlike, unlock device bootloader button. That'll run a script, uh, which will unlock your machine. And um, the way to tell if your tablet is unlocked is to turn it off. on and you see that there is no unlock icon at the bottom of the screen so that is indicative that this tablet is um, is, is not lock unlocked so this tablet needs to be unlocked uh, Tried to do this before. It did not work. Well, let's try it again. Um, it needs to be in the bootloader mode first. Okay. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just holding down the power button, the volume up, and the volume down buttons. All three buttons on the tablet, I'm holding down at the same time. <laughs> okay, that's not working. So, I uh, guess I'll just, um, says that it would, if you hit yes, it will automatically boot it, the device in a bootloader mode. So I'll do that. And I can't do it. <laughs> because the tablet is restarting. This is the big pain in the butt. I have to wait upwards of, an, of an, a whole minute for this tablet to boot. 
<clears throat> it's kind of a tedious process, but it's well worth it. All right, tablet's booted up. Let's try this again. Okay, still not working. We need to go over here to the tablet. Go into settings. Scroll down to about tablet. Tap on the tap on the build number a bunch of times, and then tap on developer options. Enable USB debugging. Hit OK. Go back into settings. Go into storage and switch from MTP to PTP. And then um, you might have this uh, <coughs> stuff. Don't worry about what's going on over here on this machine. Um, retry the connection. Still not working. Okay, so go back to the tablet. Enable that or whatever. A third time's a charm. And we're in. Uh, the tablet's going to reboot into uh, bootloader mode. Computer's going to run scripts. And uh, follow the on screen prompts. Fairly simple as far as um, installations go. So now we um, play the waiting game, which is fun. Favorite game. Okay, so notice the uh, unlocked icon here. Now when the uh, device boots up, so that means that the device has been rooted. <clears throat> It's going to reboot a couple times, I guess. And I'm almost tempted to end the video here and start a new one, make this a two part video. Because we're just going to be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. In fact, I think I will do exactly that. So, tune in for the next episode in this two part mini series. Turning a 2012 Nexus 7 into a Kali Linux NetHunter. <laughs>